HazFitters, it's Coach Vig, the official yoga and Pilates instructor of the HazFit channel. Today we're going to be doing a power yoga flow. So we have this beautiful lake behind us. It's a beautiful day here in the front range of Colorado. By the way, where are you in the world? Leave a comment below, let us know. This workout is great for everybody. Everybody. You can modify as you need to. It's all body weight, no weights or machines. Just get your mat and some comfortable clothes and we can flow, flow, and flow. Building strength, flexibility, power, balance, control, and even a whole heck of a lot of endurance. All right, so check in right now and I will see you back here in two seconds. All right, a slight shirt tuck. We're gonna breathe in the nose and out the nose. Deep breathing, connecting it with the flows. You can modify anytime you need to, my friend. The great thing about these videos, you can pause it, go back, you can practice, play it over and over. That's your flow. Let's begin. Feet hip width apart. Some sun salutations, connecting the breath and movement. Take a couple shoulder rolls here. As we look out into the beautiful wilderness, they will jump in this reservoir at the end of this flow. Inhale, reach the arms up over the head. Exhale, diving down, forward fold. Soften the knees a little bit, let the spine decompress. Take an extra breath, really release. Back of the head or back of the neck is rather loose. Inhale, rising up again. Let's build some heat in the spine. Shoulders back and down, reach up. Again, diving down, forward fold. Shoulders are relaxed. Put the weight into the tips of the toes, and once again, rising up. Not a cloud in the sky, and don't worry, I'm covered in sunscreen. All right, let's dig into some flows. Tuck the chin, my friend, dive down. On the exhale, step your right foot back, lunge. You can drop the right knee if you want, or keep that right leg straight. Nice. 90 degree angle in your left leg, fingers down, or reaching up. This is a nice lunge, the feet are staggered. You're gonna hinge forward. Now step back to plank position, also called high push-up. Hands under the shoulders, elbows in. Take a deep breath, drawing the shoulders back. Get some heat into the core. Now press forward through the toes, shoulders come in front of the wrists, and we lower down. Elbows hugging the sides, hugging the sides, drop your knees if you need to. Tops of the feet on the mat, inhale, lift the upper body up, either cobra, elbows into the sides, elbows bent, or lift all the way up into upward facing dog. Lift, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, lower back down, massage the rib cage into the mat, and then Big exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Walk the legs a few times. Want to get blood flow going, a lot of blood flow. These power yoga flows, you practice them every day. It can be five minutes, it can be 50 minutes, but make sure you're practicing these flows and these poses. All right, inhale, right leg up, right foot forward, lunge. Adjust the blouse. Shoulders back and down, arms up or fingers on the mat. As you inhale, let your upper body lift. Nice. All right, hinge forward. Step, forward fold, diving down. Again, release the spine, decompress. There's, a, there's bugs all over me. Inhale, rising up. I always film outside. I encourage a little wildness on the mat. All right, exhale, dive down again, forward fold. Neck is loose. On the exhale, step your left foot back, lunge, drop the knee, or extend the leg, fingers down, or we reach up. Mm, stretch that back leg. Very nice. Hinge forward, stepping back, plank position again. Starting to build these flows a little more aggressively with precision. Lower down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Give an extra lift and draw the shoulders back and down. Exhale, lower. And then exploding up and back into downward facing dog. Very good. Take an extra breath here. Work the heels down. Relax the shoulders. Left leg comes up with the inhale. Left foot forward, lunge. There we are. We'll keep building on these flows 
A lot of surprises, always disrupting and shocking our minds and our bodies. Step forward, lace the fingers behind you, mudra, soften the knees. If this is too much, cross the arms here or let the arms hang. Two more breaths. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, dive. Okay, drop. Inhale, flat back, fingertips on the mat or fingertips on the shins. Either way, let your shoulders pull back, feeling a nice stretch in your spine. Now, step back, plank position, take it through the flow. Little more precision, forward, down. As if you're teaching a class and you're showing how these poses connect together. Exhale, lower. On the next exhale, downward facing dog. Very nice. Inhale, left leg comes up. Let's keep building, building the heat. Our body adapts. Triangle pose. Turn that right foot in, lengthen the legs. Arms out, hinge. Back of the hand or the hand gently on the leg. Reach the right arm up. Three breaths right here. Think of fitting between a door and a screen door. Uh oh, the wind's coming in. That's good. The triangle brings in the breeze. As long as my notes don't fly away. All right, extend the triangle. Reach this right arm, feeling a whole lot of goodness down the right side. And turn this into the revolving triangle. Set the hand to the mat, the foot or the leg. As you inhale, twist your body to the left. Reach the left arm up, three breaths. You're wringing out your sides. This really, really loosens up your back. Good, one more breath. All right, set the hands down, downward facing dog, very nice. Keep it moving, get off the mat. Inhale, right leg up, right foot forward, triangle. On the other side, arms out. Turn the left foot in, reach. Voila, here we are. Three breaths, in the nose, out the nose. Once more. And now we extend, reach that left arm. Roll the left shoulder back. One more breath. Very nice, stretch it out. Flexibility is youth. We reach and let's revolve. Line up the heels, inhale, lift. Hand on the floor, the foot or the leg. Let's do two more breaths. As you inhale, really reach back. Hi. Okay, vinyasa flow. You could step back to plank or kick the leg back forward down melting down total total body control lift up and let's go to down dog right from here step back beautiful downward facing dog now take the left foot forward and keep on moving keep on disrupting our bodies and the flow shoulders back and down oh hey okay these are lunge reach throughs if they're too much just hold the lunge we're gonna do 10 we're gonna hinge forward on the exhale. Inhale, reach back up. 10 times each side. In the wind, press that right heel down. You can lace the fingers if you like. Here's four. Jeez, wind. It's the hottest day around here in a long time. The wind feels amazing. Five more times, reach back. Six. Seven. If you wobble, that's fine. Just get back into it. Do as many as you can with the best form, the best breath. Two more. I'll do that mudra here. Here we go. That's up to you if you want to do it. Lift and once more, keep the balance. Dive. Now, release, hands down, standing splits. Lift that right leg. If you want to go even further, you can lift the fingers, oh, off the mat. Make it balance. Two breaths. 
All right, step back, lunge, oh, lift, and let's flow, vinyasa, power flow, step or jump. Like you're underwater. Shoulders back, good, nice strong lift. Down dog. Little shake out. Get off the mat. All right, lunge, other side, right leg up. Right foot forward, plant it. Get a solid foundation always. So we can roar silently, all right. <laughs> Hold your lunge or 10 of our reach throughs, our pass throughs. <sighs> Exhale forward, inhale lift, good balance. I wobble, I wobble all the time. That's good, it builds character. It means we're always disrupting and disturbing and distressing the norm in our movements. There's three, going to 10. Lace the fingers if you like. Is my counting all right? I'm gonna do five more, five more, my friend. And whew, seven, going three more times. Get that rhythm. Cloud passing overhead here, how nice. All right, let me scooch that foot back just slightly. And up one more time. Oh, reach it through, reach it through. Okay, lace the fingers open. Let's lead this into the standing splits. Hands forward, lift. There's a B, okay, there goes the B. Or lift the hands slightly off the mat. Two more breaths. I'm playing piano. All right, step it back, lunge. Oh, I feel that in the right leg. Oh, that's delicious. Up, vinyasa flow, here we go. Connect the dots. La la la, up dog. Add a little twist here, back and forth, hip dips. Keep that back. Limber, pliable. Hmm. Nice and loose, very good. All right, up dog or cobra. Down dog. Shake it out, a little change of pace. Walk or jump forward. Bring it down, seated position. All right, going well. Going about 12 minutes already. Shoulders back and down. Boat pose. Find a nice little solid flat spot there. Never know what's underneath the mat. Okay, feet up, shoulders back and down. Fingers on the legs or the arms are forward. Five breaths, half boat. One of the big challenges is not to let the feet drop. So we keep them right up here. You can also extend all the way out if you wish. That's your privilege. Either way, three more breaths. I'm gonna bend. <laughs> I just trained and taught a class. Okay, very nice. Cross the legs, step back, plank, go through the flow. Elbows into the sides. Constant rhythm, inhale, up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Now walk or you can jump through to lunge again. You can do, or not lunge, but boat rather. There we are. Right here. Gonna add boat runs. Stabilize the center. 20 runs. We're gonna run with the arms. Up and then back. Here's two. Breathe into it. Three. Four. You can do same arm, same leg if you like. Five. Like this. Six. That's up to you. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, let's do 10 more, very nice, keep it going. In the nose, out the nose, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, stronger every day, 19, 20, half or full boat, two breaths. And let's do the vinyasa flow, cross the legs, jump back or step down. Up dog. Whew. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Okay, moving into some warrior flows. I like to call these warrior hugs. Take an extra breath here in down dog. Really flush out the breath. The neck is loose. Uh oh, I'm hopping with excitement. Inhale, left leg up, left foot forward. Give me a warrior pose here. Line up the heels. Push in your pockets, bend that 
left knee, right foot is turned in slightly. Okay, I'm gonna take the arms out. This knee, this hip is open, this leg is open. Now the hugs. We're gonna exhale, reach down. This arm is gonna hug across the body. Inhale, other arm does. Back and forth, 10 times, here's two. Go a little lower if you like. You can really bend into it or place your hand on the leg if you need a little more support. Three, a little faster, same control. Four. Five, five more times my friend, we have it. So much strength and mobility here. Six, all body weight. Seven. Eight, two more. Oh, feel that front leg burning with goodness. Nine, once more. And reach it up, reach it up. Now take this hand, place it on the ground. Whew. Extend, extended warrior. Three more breaths, roll that right shoulder back. Mm. Bring it all together. All right, set the hands down. Down dog. Whew. Shake out the leg. Get off my arm. A little shake. Fingers are loose. Toes are loose. Breath is fluid. It's constantly flowing. All right, let's enjoy the other side. Right foot forward. Warrior. Arms out. Hmm. Okay, hey, ready? Ten times. Each one. Exhale down. One. Two. There's two. I'll count on the top. <laughs> flow it, flow it. Three. Here's four. Reach it back, reach it back. Five. Six. Going to ten. We have it. Seven. Beautiful. Reach up higher, higher, higher. Eight. Nine. Oh, one more time, that front leg, I feel it. Oh, it burns so beautifully. And reach it back. Now, ex oh, stretch real quick. Extended warrior. Left arm reaches. Three breaths. Uh-oh. Hands down, vinyasa flow, step or jump. <sighs> Up dog. Take a downward facing dog. Take three breaths. <sighs> All right, inhale, left leg up. Left foot forward, little mudra warrior variation. So turn that right foot in, bend the leg. Lace the fingers together behind you. We're gonna start here, opening up the chest. <sighs> Yeah, some clouds coming in. Now we're gonna go on a diagonal. So draw the right shoulder back, reach the hands away from you towards your back heel. Nice big opening as you sink into your left leg. Two more breaths. In the nose, out the nose. And now we revolve the warrior. So place the right hand down and lift the left arm up. So bend that left knee, two breaths. Good, you can move a little bit within the pose and then set the hands down, step back down dog. Other side, warrior, start with the mudra, behind. Line up the heels. And then you work your way diagonally in that side bend. Sinking down. There we go. Two more breaths. And then revolve the warrior. Hand down. Other arm lifts up. There we are. Bend that knee. Put you in all these different twists at angles and planes of movement. It's vinyasa flow time. Yes, it is. Step or jump back. 
melting into each pose. Up, down dog. Let's take it as a little balance here, adding some balance. Walk or jump forward, starting with a tree. Take your right foot, bring it below or above the knee, hands together. Turn a little bit more, here we go. So we can, we can face each other just like that. All right, feel, if you're feeling solid, take the arms up. It's called the extended tree. Your left knee, your standing knee is slightly soft. Keep your eyes focused. <clears throat> Deep breath. Stay here or take it to the crouching tree. We're gonna drop down. Take the ankle on top of the thigh. We come down. One of my favorites is a great hip opener. Balance, leg work. One more breath. Sinking down, sinking down. Now let's take this through the vinyasa flow. So turn. Step back to plank, and we go. I like to cleanse the palate with these flows. Keep our whole body engaged. Back to down dog. Now walk or jump forward again. Other side, fix the blouse. There we are. I don't know why I always call my tank tops blouses. We open that hip, soften that right knee a little bit, and open up the airways. Breathe into the front, the sides, and the back. I trained and worked professionally as an opera singer, dramatic baritone singer, music, theater, and opera, and that's how we breathed. We breathed? How we breathed was front, sides, and back. If you're feeling solid, take the arms up. So it's not shallow chest breathing. It's deep. It's deep abdominal breathing that lifts your whole body. It doesn't scrunch up your upper body. Stay here or drop down. Three breaths. Definitely a challenge. Eyes are focused. Is there a dog near me? There's dogs everywhere. All right, take it back. Vinyasa flow. I'm gonna moonwalk back. There we go. Press forward, down. Down, down, down. Up dog. Limber in the back. And then, whew, big B, downward facing dog. Walk or jump forward again. Here's the challenge. Take your right foot, either here if you want to hold the tree, or ankle on top of the thigh. Balance, challenge, challenge. Take it from here, go back and forth. Tree, crouching tree. Don't, let's not do a number, let's just do a few here. Or hold the tree, that's up to you. Keep the eyes focused. All right, I'm gonna do one more. Oh, hey, okay. One more of each. Down, down, down. <clears throat> From here, step or jump back. Vinyasa flow. Down dog. Walk or jump forward. Other side. Hold the tree or go for the tree to crouching tree. I'm ready. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale as you come down. Expand the breath a little more each time. That's the stuff. All right. One more, each one. Lift tall. Yeah, you got it. And we crouch down. A little lower, a little lower. All right, take it back to downward facing dog. Okay, shake it out. We got a new warrior on tap for you. Take your left foot forward. This is a warrior cat cow variation. We just keep flushing out and working the upper body. So warrior, legs line up the heels, arms out. Whew, I catch my breath, I got excited. Inhale, reach back, open up the chest, the shoulders. This is the cow. Exhale, 
roll forward. You can come all the way down if you like, or stay tall and just roll the shoulders. We're gonna do it four more times each one. Keep the foundation of your warrior legs. Three more, open up, big stretch. Get those shoulders involved. Excellent, excellent. Two more times. I'm smiling. That was a good smile right there. All right, once more. I'm gonna finish with the cow. We're gonna open. We're gonna bring this hand down again. Extended warrior. Oh, it's so good. One more breath. Turn, down dog. Other side, warrior with the cat cow. Arms out. Five times each one. A lot of balance. Oh, the spine gets to unwind. Three more. Yeah, that's my butt. Two more. Deep breathing. Penetrate the cells with the breath. Oh, I might have lost count. I'm gonna do one more extra credit. And down. Now, open up. Nice and wide, big cow pose, and then extend the warrior. One more breath. Beautiful, vinyasa. Step or jump. Lift. Down dog. Oh my goodness. It just doesn't stop. Take your left foot forward. Side lunge. Oh, I always get requests for this one. And I get requests sometimes not to do it. So let's bring it down. Side lunge, hands are down. Open up this left leg. Or you can mirror me, that's fine. Open up the other leg. Hands together, a little balance. Keep opening the legs. Keep lifting to the top of the head. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's transfer to the other side. Use your hands on the mat or inhale up and slowly come over. It's definitely a Van Damme move. A Jean-Claude Van Damme move, there we are. A little blood sport. Good balance, breathe. Open up those airways. I'm wobbling, that's good. Again, up, over. Up, over. How does that feel? Feel okay? Really good for your glutes and legs. Let's do it four more times, back and forth. Take out the pause. Take out the dramatic pause. Two, three, and four. I'm gonna bring it over, vinyasa flow. Hmm. Down dog, excellent. Woo. Walk or jump forward. Give yourself a forward fold here. Fingers can also be under the toes. Can you see me? Or arms around the legs. Ring out the spine. Two more breaths. All right, flat back. Fingers on the shins or the floor. There's a cloud up there. Now step back to plank. Inhale, open, up, side. Stack the legs if you like. You can also lift. Reach. Vinyasa flow, bring it right down. Oh, down dog, bring it to plank. Other side, right arm up, scooch forward. You can do what you like with the legs. Extend. Good. Something on me. I'm just paranoid at this point. <laughs> All right, vinyasa flow, hands down. <sighs> Always time to invigorate all those cells. Downward facing dog. <sighs> Quick shake out. 
Okay, Mudra dives. Just a few more things left. Give me warrior pose. I hope you're not sick of it yet. So it's always, always a challenge. Get those legs again. Make sure this knee is open. Always double check your foundation. Because if you're going to keep moving, the foundation's not there, everything's going to fall. We're not going to progress. Lace the fingers again behind you. Keep it here if you like, opening the chest or five dives. We're going to dive down. Draw the arms back, a lot of balance. Inhale, lift, get the back bend. Four more times. Been doing these a lot lately myself, so effective. Open, and two more, we got it. And once more, keep that left knee open. Rise up, arms up, vinyasa flow. A little more speed, but always the control, always the flow. Okay, other side. Five mudra dives. Here we are. Keep that leg open. Exhale down, inhale up. Don't forget to let us know after you're done. Let us know below what you thought of the workout and where you are doing this with me. We'd love to hear from you. Two more. As I recommend power yoga just about daily, some form or other for maximum physical and mental performance. Bring it up, open, arms up, flow it. Okay, downward facing dog. Let's finish it off. Time goes so quickly. Bring the right knee forward, pigeon. Fix the mat. So, you can rock it a little side to side here. You wanna be right over the center. You're gonna do a little pigeon, um, pigeon slides. So we're gonna start with proud pigeon, lift up. And then exhale, lengthen forward. Do this at your own speed, my friend. We're opening the hip, stretching the hip flexor. Getting one heck of a spine manipulation here. Maybe even adjustment or so, but that's up to you. Let's do it two more times. If you like, you can also do king pigeon. Reach the arms up. And then lengthen forward. Always hinging, stretching out that spine. Once more. Oh, so nice. Slide it down. Whatever we do, we do it with flow, with purpose. Now step it back to plank, switch sides, left leg forward when you're ready. And even it out. We all, we alone here, okay. Here's your pigeon, lifting up tall. A couple weeks ago, I was up in that area, ran right into a big black bear. Fortunately, I was by myself and so was the bear. We just spoke for a second and then walked away from each other. All right, back and forth. But this area here, the worst of it is really friendly dogs who are swimming in the reservoir. And that's all right. That goes perfectly with power yoga. Oh, king pigeon if you like also. Remember, you can take the arms up and then lengthen down. Should feel really good on those tight hips. Down, let's do it one more time, one more time. Do a little movement in there where you need to. I'm gonna do this classic here. Oh, and then down. All right, let's do one more flow. Step back to plank, take it slow like you're underwater in the pool. No, 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 no. There we are, effortless, effortless. Huge back bend. Strong arms, strong glutes. Take it back to down dog. Couple breaths right here. God, flush out the junk, the distractions. Now walker, jump your feet forward. Forward fold. Let's rise up. We'll finish it here, my friends. Standing nice and tall. Couple shoulder rolls. 
take the arms up, back bend, and then pull them open. Cactus arms, cactus arms, cactus arms, and shake it out. My friends, it's me, Coach Vig. Such a pleasure to train with you today. Make sure you check in below. If this video helped, hit that like button. Subscribe to the HasFit channel, and please head over to my channel. It's on the screen, the address, and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find tons of workouts just like this and many, many other different kinds as well. Uh, what did I say my name, Coach V? Uh, the official yoga and Pilates instructor for the HasFit channel. Again, uh, if this was a little bit too much, this flow, I did another power yoga flow for this channel last year just for you. The link to that is in the about section below. And uh, any questions or concerns, comments, put them below. Do these or a, a little bit of these every day for a while and keep us posted. Keep us all posted how you're doing with those because power yoga is definitely accessible. It's powerful and anybody can do it anywhere in the world. All right, my friends, Coach Vig signing off. God bless. We'll see you next time.